Episode 70 of The Adventure Begins. I'm Chaz. And I'm Jarek. And guess what, man? We're doing some things this week. We are, which is always great. No. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. You do anything funky and fun this week? Um, I, uh, not, this, not this week, but last week I did Adventures League. I actually got to run a table. Um, so I did, did you DM it? I was DMing, yeah. Nice. So I did a table of four level 18 characters, and that is... Um, Normally running D&D, you feel kind of drained afterwards. I felt fried after this. Really? It was, there was so many things I remember, so many things I had to run for them. It was a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, but it was, I went home and I passed out afterwards. That's how wow. it went. So, I mean, that's how my last week was. This week, nothing too fun. How about you? Man, just uh, same old stuff. Slinging yes. comics, my friend. Gotta do it. That's right. Hey, if you're not doing anything on Monday nights, check us out live. That's right. The Kingdom of Geekdom. Nerd News Now, Twitch, and all that good stuff. Good place to come out and check out some new nerd news, which even in these COVID times, there's still stuff coming out and trickling out. Somehow Mark finds it when we can't, and it's kind of impressive. That's right. Uh, but we still talk a lot of fun stuff like movies, comics, TV shows, and more. So check us out once again at Nerd News Now. Yeah, that's 8.30 live every Monday through thewoodlandsonline.com. There you go. But the adventure begins. We've got events. we got a lot of events. Uh, Saturday, July 11th, Pokemon. Dude, we haven't seen these guys in a while. That's right. It's been a hot minute. Oh, uh, it's... oh there they are. It's... I didn't see them there for a second. It, yeah. it took me a bit. Yeah. He's dancing. Hey, That's so his it... COVID dance. Hey. So at 2 p.m. is when that kicks off. It is casual meetup for everyone available. Um, it's every Saturday. Uh, whether you're new, old, or in between, mm -hmm. come down and play some Pokemon. All right, we have to let you guys know that this is not an official Pokemon Get together. Yes. It's a casual meetup. It's a casual, guys. Keep, keep it real. Loosey goosey, yeah. my guys. And at 4 p.m., man, we've got tabletop gaming. Yep. Warhammer. Team Yankee. All of them going head to head in their own separate universes. Uh, so come on down. It's 4 o'clock until we close. It's a great time to get your games in. Uh, it's kind of the official time for that. Who knows? You might be able to get some new games in for people you've never played before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's totally free to play. Exactly. You can't go wrong with free. Sunday, July 12th at 4 p.m. He just talked about it. It's D&D &D Adventures League. This is but a, it's for the little kids. It's for the small guys. Uh, so once again, 4 o'clock, sign-ups are online and ready to go. If you do not sign up before you show up, odds are you might not get a table, especially in these COVID crazy times. Mm -hmm. We are limited to four kids per table right now, and kids must wear masks during this as well, as per the order that's going on right now. Uh, so keep that in mind. It's $5 entry, and that can be anything in store. It covers your $5 or more, and then you're good to go and play some D&D. &D. Monday, July 13th, 4 p.m. We got some miniature Mondays, man. It's a really small kind of day, but it's also a lot of big action going on. Uh, so come on in, paint some miniatures, and meet some other painters. I know last week when we did this, we had upwards of like 12 people in the store. Uh, so that's really cool. It's, it's there was growing. quite a few people in. Yeah, and it was it was really impressive. Uh, so if you want to get into this or you are currently into it, come on down, uh, meet some new uh, painters, get some new techniques, and just socialize with people. We're doing pretty safe, pretty spectacular with it. So keep that in mind. Yeah, man, we got a shout out to Jarek, you know, for painting some stuff, and our buddy Jason. Yeah, he knows all the things about painting. Jason's probably the smartest painter I know. Wednesday, July fifteenth, War Cry. Whoa, cry. It's, we'll not cry. An eight, it's not a 1980s metal band. It's a game. It is a game. For my friend uh, JJ, uh, if you can tell us more about it, that'd be great, but I'll do it for you. Uh, it's a $10 entry for this event. It's a weekly tournament that we're going to start doing. It's going to start at 6 o'clock, and it'll go until the, uh, you know, the event ends, usually around uh, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock when we close. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a great time to come on in and play some awesome skirmish warfare using the Age of Sigmar rules for that. Uh, Warcry is a lot of fun. We have a demo kit set up right now, so if you're ever in store, come and check it out. It is, once again, fully painted by our good friend Jason. He did a fantastic job with that, so you can see what it could look like when you get it yourself. That looks really cool. Yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah, man. And if you're not uh, comfortable with hanging out in store, doing some tabletop things, you just want to stay at home in your PJs and win some, some bill bucks. Got to get the bill bucks. Yeah, you can hang out with me every Wednesday night for virtual trivia. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell us more about that, Chaz. Yeah, it starts as, uh, team registration 730. Game starts at 8. And uh, hang out with me on my Twitch page. We do general knowledge, pop culture. TV, movies, music, nerd stuff, man, we do it all. Can't go wrong. First, second, and third place, you get tap bucks added onto your loyalty account. Get those bill bucks, my guys. That's right. So, big shout out last week's winners. First place, the Frills. 
Second place, one swine flew over the cuckoo's nest. And third place, the Bina people. Gotta love the Bina people. The Bina people, they're, they're some good peoples. They're some pretty good peoples. Yeah, so that's twice um, that they've placed. Wow. It's two weeks in a row, man. Nice, look at them. Yeah, it's totally free to play. And um, if you're like, how do I join? Just head on over to our Facebook page, hit the link, it'll direct you to me. And then in the chat, hey, I'm here to play trivia. And then we'll send you a virtual card so you're not answering in the chat. There you go. And uh, everybody was disappointed, by the way, that the Jolly Jericks were not at trivia. I'm upset this last at them. Week. Yeah. I'm upset at the Jolly Jericks. No. I'm looking at the four of you right now, mm -hmm. and I want you to know how displeased I am with you. Yeah. I'm so, not upset. I'm just disappointed. Yeah. So it wasn't this past Wednesday, but the Wednesday before. They didn't show up after they were talking mad. They were talking mad game. They were. Like, the smack was real, and then they didn't show up. Mm -hmm. God. But they did play War Cry instead. They so. did. So at least they're learning other things in stores. It can't go wrong. Yeah. Thursday, July 16th, we got a writer's club, Ooh. 5 p.m. Yep, so you're going to meet with experienced and learning writers able alike. So meet with experienced and new writers alike to discuss ideas, give feedback on stuff you're currently working on, and just kind of get new ideas for moving forward. Uh, it's a free meetup. You can contact events at theadventurebeginstx.com to learn more information, as well as get a few uh, prompts thrown your way or right to start off with. So not mm -hmm. a bad group. Friday, July 17th, Star Wars Monthly Meetup. This is at 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Tell them all about this thing. This is a great time to come on in and play those Star Wars games that you know and you love, or maybe you don't know one experience. Whether it's X-Wing, Armada, the RPG. Um, I know Colton's been trying to get... Uh, there's this tabletop one where there's miniatures and it's really old, but he wants to get that moving again. <laughs> we have the new Hoth, we have the old new Hoth assault board game Ooh, yeah, uh, reprint, really cool. which is also in store. It's really cool to check out. It looks like the old Kenner toys. It yeah yeah, and it comes with an action figure. Some more reason to check it out. Yeah, uh, but it starts at five o'clock. There's a free event once again, so bring in your games and play with other players who are interested. Um, can't go wrong with Star Wars. Now we talked about Monday miniatures, right? Miniature yes. Mondays. Well, guess what? All that hard work. You come in, you paint your stuff, all that hard work, you could win some things because we have a monthly miniature painting contest. That is right. Tell them all about Jerk. So, uh, Friday the 17th is the last day to enter your model into it. It's going to be $5, and we're going to have four different categories. We're going to have Young Bloods, which is for anyone under 16. It can be any model they want to paint, so Chaz is viable for that. Uh, we're going to have a uh, single model, which is just your normal, regular size model. Mm -hmm. Single model large, so anything that's larger than your typical model. And then diorama. So if you want to do anything with that, it's an 8x8 eight eight surface, and you can make a whole cool scene with your models and make them look like they're terrifying. Uh, this month's uh, category is tooth and claw, so anything beasty and scary and giant like that would be perfect for this. Uh, and, then, and then the next day on the 18th, it is voting. So come on in. We'll have voting all day. It's free. And you can check out all these cool pieces of art and vote for your favorite. You're going to get in-store credit with Bill Bucks. And then it's just general recognition as we place your placing content stuff into our display case. It's awesome. Yeah. Should be really cool. Those are your events for this week, man. Something's coming soon. Well, uh, so free RPG day is coming around here soon. And July 25th, we're going to have Free RPG Day, which is a great time to come on in, get some new free content. I want to say free as many times as I can. We'll have the timer going as we do this. Uh, we're going to have a lot of cool content that you can grab from various different RPG works, as well as tables that will be playing different RPG games throughout the entire day. You can check us out online uh, starting on the 11th, when our calendar should be going live, to get more ideas on what is being played when. And then you can come in whenever you like, as long as supplies last, for your free and I said free correctly, free, free, free RPG content once again on July 25th. This goes on all day while we have it. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Chaz. What's it cost? Free. What? I know, it's free. Do you know it's free? No. Uh, it's free. Oh, uh, cool. Free, free, free. <laughs> Are you a fan of animation? What about cartoons? Well, guess what? We've got a camp just for you. We do? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's right, because we're teaming up with young Rembrandts from July 20th through the 24th to teach you the basics on how to draw your cartoons while exploring different styles of comic artwork. That's right, man. Animate some flip books, try a hand at inking, and explore the cultures that inspire cartoons and anime. That's right. Spots are limited and only guaranteed after payment, so make sure you sign up as ASAP as possible. That's right. This camp is $199 with sibling discounts available so just Ooh. ask us in store so if you do want more information though feel free to send us an email at events at the adventure begins tx.com or give us a call 
here are your comics for this week. Diana Prince, you're so wonderful. Hey, I'm wonderful. No, you're not, Michaela! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to yet another Tab Talk. Mm -hmm. Today I'm here with uh, Dina. What's up? You might have seen her from Tab Reads, in which she reads different books for kitties and all that other fun stuff. Tell us more about that quickly. Awesome, awesome. Yes, um, every week uh, join me for not only reading books just to show you guys what's out there, but I'm also going to be uh, previewing uh, new releases mm. and reviewing different books, not only for young adults, but for teens and for kiddos. Nice. So it's a good way to pick up some extra graphic novels and comics that you're not sure if you like or not and kind of find out what they're about and see if it's something that you would like to uh, get involved with. Speaking of a preview of things that are coming out, we got some awesome Dogman stuff and uh, some other games that are pretty good for kids and family members alike. So what do we got today, Dina? Excellent. Absolutely we do. So first of all, we have a new game that uh, we just got in the store a couple of weeks ago. It is Dogman Attack of the Fleas. Mm. And this is a super, super fun game. It's for six and up, probably about a 15, 20 minute game. Uh, loads of fun. So basically what you do is you pick out your uh, super buddy and you have to get to the end, the finish line, before the um, robot Brontosaurus gets nice. there. And you, you work together to destroy the robot before he gets to the end. Because if he gets to the end before you do, Problem is, he destroys the whole city. That's not a good thing, is it? So you want to make it there before him, and you get all kinds of tools along the way, like invisible spray, mm. psh, or a chopper where you can move anywhere you want to on the board. Not bad. You can move backwards. Nice. You can move forward. That's good. And you do everything you can to totally get rid of him and make him... Kaboom. Blam. <laughs> Kablam. <laughs> Cool, so this is Dogman Attack of the Fleas. Uh, it's usually for ages six and up. It's two to six players, though, so yeah, it's fun for the whole family. Uh, pretty decent-sized game as well, so it's not like you're limited to only three or four players for it. Exactly. That's the extra two players actually does go a long way for a lot of people, so that is really good to know. Uh, what else do we have with us in the today, Dina? Another really, really fun game we have for those of you that are still a little bit skeptical about getting out and about and you want some fun activities to do at home. Uh, we found this game. It is called Scavenger Hunt for Kids. Mm. And there are all kinds of indoor um, things that you have to search for and find. But the really fun part about this game is the only way to win is to make sure that you put your items back where you found them. Oh, there you go. So it's not just as easy as finding them and bringing them to the uh, the game players. You yeah. actually have to put them back in the right spot so before you can win the game. It's not about being the, like, the world's best magpie and you know gathering up as much <laughs> stuff for mom and dad to clean up. Now you too have to put it away, which is always a plus, mom and dad. It's always a plus. Absolutely. It is. Fun game. Fun game to play at home. Is there a person limit for it or is it like as it, many people can play as they want? Uh, two people. Two, okay. or, two or more people ages six and up so, you know what? Uh, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, 
whoever wants to play, it's always fun running around the house trying to find Whole certain items and bringing those and putting them back in the right spot. So anybody can play. All Absolutely. Right. And the last game that I want to showcase today is a new game that just came out right before the 4th of July, and it is the... Dogman, the hot dog card game. Hot dog card game. This is hot a super, dog. super fun, yeah. fast game, and basically you just have to move faster than the other people you're playing with nice. to collect the most hot dogs. So we're going to do a quick demo, a little uh, short demo of this game. We're going to break down first. We are going to break down Thank first. You All right, so this is our version of uh, Dogman the Hot Dog you know, card game. We're doing a smaller demo for it because it does include 64 cards that seem to be laid out in the entire board for everyone to play with at once. Uh, so we're doing a slightly smaller version of that with only 20 cards, or 10 cards really. Uh, math, like I said, is not my thing. Uh, so how do we play, Dina? Okay, so the youngest person is the first one to go, so Obviously it's moi. You. <laughs> and you flip a card over. Okay. To expose as many hot dogs as you can. Expose the hot dogs, kids. Expose the hot dogs. All right, so you do one, and then the next person goes. They're also going to flip one. Hot okay. dog. Oh, I got a dog. Okay. So when you flip over the dog, you have to race to grab as many of the hot dogs as you can. Okay. And put those aside, and you hold on to them until we've played all the cards. Okay. So. The dog goes, goes away. into the discard pile. Okay. And you just continue the game. So you were, yeah. So we just keep on going. And then the last card gets flipped, and that is a cat. All right. If you flip over the cat card, all of the hot dogs now go into hiding. Okay. So you dispose of the cat card. And now All of your hot flip dogs back over. flip back over into hiding, okay. and you continue taking turns flipping them over, hitting a cat, hitting a dog, until you end up with no cards left. Okay. And then you count the hot dogs, and whoever has the most wieners wins. That's it, folks. <laughs> whoever has the most amount of wieners wins. Absolutely. This It's a very, very fast-paced, very fun game because you get to race to see who can pick up the most hot dogs. Um, this is for ages five and up. Doesn't require any reading. Anybody in the family can play and have a good time. We were playing this the other day in the store and just having loads of laughs. Nice. So lots of fun games. Cool, cool. For a doggone good time, <laughs> bye Dogman. <laughs> Free comic book day. The comic book industry's largest annual promotional event is traditionally scheduled to take place the first Saturday in May each year. That's true. However, the impact and spread of COVID-19 prevented the event from being celebrated at its normal time this year. And now, beloved uh, events have to be rescheduled and reworked to take place throughout July and, and into September, so can't go wrong there. Uh, so we're going to accommodate social distancing and store capacity regulations across the country, effectively making it a free comic book summer. I know, man. Scheduled to take place between July 15th and September 9th. We will receive five to six free comic book day titles in our weekly shipments during each week of the promotional window. That's true. Yeah. And as an added bonus, we're handing out the Adventure Begins passports. Hopefully there's one in my hand. Yeah. And this is how it works. Come in and pick up your passport and then bring it with you for every week to get it stamped mm -hmm. and then receive some pretty awesome prizes. Yeah, like uh, three stamps will get you five loyalty points. Six stamps will get you also five loyalty points and 10% off of a single purchase. And if you come in all nine weeks, guess what, man? You get five loyalty points. Not bad. Plus 20% off a single item purchase. Now, there's no stacking. Nope. Can't get, nope. That's not how it works. Mm -hmm. Plus, we'll have six free Comic Book Day Marvel Mystery Boxes. Yeah. We'll have three on sale here at the store. But what about the other three? Oh, the other three? The other three. Did you ask about the other three? The other three, yes. Guess what, man? I'm giving away during my virtual trivia nights on Wednesday. What? That's right, man. So usually these things are going, I believe, for like $34.99. Not bad. Well, come play trivia and I will give one away. To Almost three like three lucky winners. For free? For free. 
for free. Free, free, free. That's right, man. Okay. So join us, man, for nine weeks. Free comic book summer. Free. Listen here, kiddies, it's time for Tap News Now. I'm Chaz. And I'm Jarek. And, and you're, you're not. nuts. This is your Tap News for this week. As much as of it that there is. <laughs> yeah, there's not much. Uh. Marvel fans are hella excited about the new Marvel Legends action figure from Hasbro, Toxin. Nice. Toxin stands roughly about six inches tall and is very articulated and highly detailed. Nice. The veiny detailed teeth and green tongue are very well done and will make an excellent addition to your growing symbiote collection. Toxin is set to release this November. It's going to cost you 30 ducats. Did, did you say veiny? Yeah. Okay, making sure. Yeah. Games Workshop has announced the release dates for their upcoming 9th edition for the popular tabletop game Warhammer 40,000, with new rules being previewed and showcased in the last week. Uh, this includes the Indominus Box, the Core Rulebook, four new paints, and various other game aids, such as the new Battle Gauge and Open Work Cards. Uh, Pre-orders are live, so make sure you get them in today, and their release date is July 25th. A lot earlier than people were expecting. Right on. Yeah, yeah. That's your news for this week. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> now for something that you may have missed. Manatees have recently been upgraded from endangered species to merely threatened. Ooh. Yeah. So, for a limited time only, the McManatee is back. Perfect. <laughs> I was going to say something like, yeah, the week later it came back down to endangered. It was very manatees. <laughs> what the... So, a Louisiana yes. man, Kevin Weiss, faces charges for swimming in a sporting goods store fish tank. Uh, police reeled in the 26-year-old who says he did it because of a promise made to followers on social media platform TikTok. Uh, Wise knew that the jig was up when store employees began chasing him out of the store. He has since been charged with simple criminal damage to property and an official summons to court. Uh, when asked to comment on the situation, he said uh, he should have brought a red herring. <laughs> That's a lot of leather for that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hamilton has hit Disney+. Plus. That's true. Jarek, have you seen it? Not yet. Uh, I haven't either. Did you know a handwritten letter by Alexander Hamilton has sold at auction for more than $2 million? Really? Yeah. Yeah. And you know they're authentic because they begin with, Yo, my name is Alex and I'm here to say... <laughs> that was Tab News Now. Do you guys have any D&D stuff? I hate busy days. What's up, dude? How's it going? Exhausted, man. Absolutely exhausted. Exhausted? You're exhausted. I had five customers last night. Five customers? Five customers? You got it easy, dude. You'd never... I'll, I'll see you work for a day. Like, it's so crazy over here. I could do your job. You could never handle my side of the store. You wouldn't be able to handle the comic side. There's, like, a lot of alphabetizing and letters. Yeah, dude, whatever. You'd never be able to handle the game side. I mean, there's so much you gotta do. Like, you gotta know where everything is. You gotta deal with customers. Pretend like you're interested with the Magic players. And worst of all, you gotta make coffee for people. You know how long that takes? Nice day, huh? You're at Gurgling. Oh, you want to check out? Uh, it's going to be five more minutes. What kind of dog is this? Spencer. Spencer, what kind of dog do you think this is? You know, Spencer, no, really, what kind of dog is this? I told you it's a pigeon. I told you, like, a couple more minutes, I'll be ready for you, all right? Um, excuse me. Yeah, it's real rocket science. If I could dress myself, I could totally take over the gaming side. Excuse me, do you have Arkham Horrors or Mansions of Madness? Yeah, Chaz, do we? Uh, or Flux? I, I don't know what any of that is. I can help you. They'll be right over here, all right? Thank you. Ooh, coffee. 
Yeah. Cool. Oh, this is gross and it's cold. Do you think she can do my job? Sweet Christmas. Oh. Did you watch the Animation Legends unboxing? Well, did you? Well, if you want to win one of those sketches, let us know. Just right here in the comments. Right here, man. Mm -hmm. In the comments. All you gotta do is like, subscribe, share, share all that good stuff. Come on. And one of those cool Masters of the Universe sketches will be yours. Just yours. All you gotta do is that stuff. Really easy. I want to give them away, man. Just type it up. Just do it. Jarek! Guess yes. what? What? We finally have a winner from Dice Envy giveaway. Wow, it's about time. Dude, I'm telling you. Jeez. These dice a... were amazing. They look great and they came with a cool, a cool uh, case magnetic box. Yeah, like, how how did these just sit on my desk for like weeks? Right. Because you guys don't like free stuff. Apparently I, It don't. blows it's, my mind. I mean, what What are you guys doing? Like, think about it. What, what are you doing? So, gotta give uh, congrats to last night for winning the Dice Envy. Yeah, what about last night? No, last night. Oh, him. Yeah, Les. So congrats, man. Uh, if you guys want to win some stuff, just watch the unboxings and we let you know how to win it's simple said as that. stuff. It's as simple as that. That's two winners so far. Two. Yeah. We've done four videos. <laughs> yeah, something like that. New episodes of The Adventure Begins drop every Friday Ooh. on certain social media platforms, as well as a Roku for me and for you through the woodlandsonline.com. That's right. Don't miss the Adventure Begins Reads and Michaela's Comics Corner, two weekly shows that you can find again at the Adventure Begins Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Thanks again to the people at Animation Legends for the cool sketch box, man. That was pretty cool. That was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. And get your own classic cartoon sketches and sales at animationlegends.com. Mm -hmm. Get 50% off your selections today and let them know that the rock and roll nerd sent you. That's right. 50% off. That's a lot of cash. That's not, that's not bad. That's really not. You've seen them on Oprah and you've seen them on Ellen. Next week, we get to open a box from Two Blind Brothers. And I got a very special guest going to help me out with that. Oh, so nice. don't miss it. Is it Ellen? No. Is it Oprah? Oh. Oh. Mm. I wish, man. I'd get That'd a new car. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for this week's episode of The Adventure Begins. Uh, Bill, we'll have you on next week. Once again, I apologize. It's, it's time. It's, it's hard to get it scheduled. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed it and will join us again for more comics, games, events, and more next week. And remember, kids, if you're feeling kind of sick, it might not be coronavirus. Could okay. be the Pac-Man fever. So take two ghosts. Call us in the morning. See you, nerds. And that's it. That's it for hot dog game. The hot dog game from Hot Dog Game. <laughs> Doggone it, Chaz. Well, rask us in store. <laughs> we'll follow you around. And not in a stalkery way, Karen. <laughs> from a left from. Da, da, da. Man, we're going to offer this for a limited time. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. What am I doing? That's right. I totally forgot about my <laughs> joke. <laughs> don't worry. After this, we're finished. Mm. Ah. <sighs>